Hey what's going on ladies and gents and to friendly neighborhood content creator I wanted to make a quick video about all the new stuff that is coming up into Genshin Impact. Now this isn't a quite exactly a new patch but this is the sort of new banners are coming along some new events are coming along as well especially this one the fleeting colors in flight. This one is really really good because it's the massive event they have for their whole this is the whole version 2.4 update this is it now you want to log in every single day during this event for at least seven days so you guys can get 10 intertwined fates this is equal to 1600 prima gems so i highly suggest that you guys log in at least seven days out of this total event to get the most out of the event now Leading Colors and Flight event will allow you to obtain Ningguang's outfit and a free 4-star character from Liyue. Now, there's a lot of characters here that you guys can choose from and it might seem a little daunting for you guys to choose between which character you might want to pick from. Now, there are amazing characters here such as Xingqiu, Beidou, Xiangling, the new character Yunjin is actually pretty great and Ningguang. Now the other characters are also really good such as you know Chongyun, Jinyan and Yanfei however these characters aren't the you know the big ones the you know national team ones or whatever it may be because um yeah it's just is what it is these characters can change your account for good especially with some constellation now Ningguang's outfit is actually really really well made so make sure you guys pick up this outfit as well now for the four stars which one you want to choose from is completely dependent on your account now if your account has a certain amount of four star characters and you are missing a character such as Xingqiu or you're missing characters such as Chongyun or you know Beidou or even Yunjin pick a character dependent on that if you don't have Yunjin might be an okay idea to pick her up here because she is absolutely free and she's a new character so instead of like wishing on the banners that were you know in the past for Shunha or Xiao, you can get her for free now. As for the other characters, Shangling has amazing constellations, especially if you're near that C4, you're going to have a really good time upgrading her to that constellation. And Beta also pretty good with at least two constellations on her. So if you're near that, pretty good pickup. Xingqiu, all his constellations are super important to have. He's a six star unit for sure. Ningguang has okay constellations, but not the greatest. Jinyan, I'm so sorry, she doesn't have that great of constellations. However, Yanfei has an incredible C4 constellation, and Yanfei has pretty good constellations, but they're not necessary for her to work well. Now, there is also a three intertwined fate thing that you can get from february 9th to the 13th just make sure you log in every day during that time so you guys can get fragile resin the intertwined fates and some other rewards as you guys can see um obviously we've already seen these and the new event wish the you know zhongli one as well as the gone you one we've already seen um all of these banners you know i'm gonna show you guys in a second here which is over here we've seen the banners already these banners are incredible, especially if you are new to the game. The whole Xingqiu, Beidou, incredible. These characters are amazing. So if you're, you know, planning to wish on these banners, you're planning to wish on, you know, Zhongli or Ganyu banner, do not get the character that you get from this banner on the free thing, on the free character select, unless, you know, you need the constellation, I guess. So consider getting Yunjin. She is free, she is new, and if you don't have her, she could be a pretty good character for you guys. Now that, now that, you know, we have that, you know, all nice and dandy talked over, I think that is all we have for this new update. I would suggest all of you guys to not summon on the weapon banners, because the weapon banner is not good at all. The Vortex Vanquisher is not a good weapon at all. The Amos bow you can get on the standard banner anyway. So this banner, 100% skip. You don't need this. Make sure you guys save your gems in this situation. Uh, I think that is all I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video. So make sure you guys consider liking, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you guys 
don't know the event is already going on as you guys can see i already claimed one my one intertwined faith so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video also subscribing to the channel as well see you guys in the next video very soon goodbye